Hello and welcome to a walkthrough of the New Braunfels Police Department's online reporting system. This video is going to walk you through the steps that you'll need to take to file your own police report from the comfort of your own home. So let's get started. First, let's log on to the Police Department website, www.nbpdtexas.org. Now, there's a lot of great information that's on this page, so be sure to come back some other time and explore the site. But for now, we're focusing on this great big blue button right here. Clicking this button is going to take you to the online police reporting system page, which has some basic information about the system, its capabilities, and also there's a real important warning here. So let's just take a minute to note that filing a false police report is a crime under the Texas Penal Code. It's considered a Class B misdemeanor, so no fake police reports, please. Now, once you click the Start an Online Police Report button, you'll be taken to this page. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of options here for you to choose from. There's 13 to be exact, so let's review them. You can use this system to make a report for burglary of a coin-operated machine. That would be things like vending machines and newspaper machines. Burglary of a motor vehicle. That's when someone enters your vehicle with the intent to steal. Gas drive-offs. Harassment reports, like harassing phone calls or text messages. Hit-and-run crash reports, for instance, if someone hits your vehicle while it was parked in a parking lot. You can also file reports for identity theft, credit card abuse, and internet fraud. You can also report lost property, like when you lose your wallet or cell phone. There's also a variety of theft offenses, including theft from a motor vehicle. That would be if someone stole the tires or a tailgate off your vehicle. Also, theft of service. For example, you pay someone for home repair services, but they never actually complete the job. You can also report vandalism, like graffiti or your mailbox being knocked over or even rocks being thrown through your window. And finally, you can also use this system to report violations of child custody orders. So at this point, you'd need to select the type of crime that you're reporting. For today's video, we're going to use identity theft as an example. So we'll click that option and then hit the Start Report button right here at the bottom of the page. Now this next page asks you to verify whether you're making this report for yourself or another person and provides you with some helpful tips and useful information if you're the victim of identity theft. So be sure to select that yes, you have read this information. Now, since this is the first report that we're making about this incident, we'll choose the original option. But if you have already filed a report and you need to add some additional information, you would instead select the supplemental report option. But for now, we're choosing original, so let's click to continue. Now, right here, you can clarify if you are filing the report as an individual or a business. And in this case, we're an individual, so we'll do that. And now we need to fill out our information, including name, address, phone numbers, email addresses, social security number, all that stuff. Once that's filled out, we can click the continue button, but I, I do want you to note that this is the same information an officer would collect in person, and this information is secure and confidential. Now, please note that you have a total of 30 minutes to fill out this information before the page times out. And once you have all of that information entered, just click the continue button at the bottom of the page. Now, on this next page, you'll need to enter as much information as you can about the identity theft that you're reporting. So, for example, if someone used your credit card at a Target store, you would select the Common Place checkbox and then enter Target. And be sure to specify which city that Target store is located. Now, the next required field on this page asks you to select whether you would like to press charges when or if investigators are able to locate a suspect, or you can select the option that states that you're simply filing the report for insurance purposes. And finally, on this page is an area where you can upload any pertinent documents like bank statements or receipts. Once you've completed that, click Continue. Now, the next page is the narrative area, where you can provide us with a more detailed account of what happened. Now, don't feel like you have to write a novel, but make sure you explain well why you're making this report. We'll say something like, my credit card information was used to make purchases at Target. Now, after you click continue, you'll come to this page, which reviews all of the information that you've entered so far. Be sure to double check all of the information, make any necessary changes, and then click submit report. And congratulations! Now your report has been submitted. There's one final step, though. You can now click the View and Print Report button in order to, you guessed it, view and print your report. 
Now, please note that you will initially get a temporary tracking number, which is right here. You will later be emailed the actual case number once it's generated, but for now, please keep this document with the temporary number for your records. And that's it. You've just completed a police report online for identity theft. And I do want to point out that there are some different screens that you'll see depending on what kind of crime you are reporting. For instance, let's go back and let's say we were reporting a burglary of a motor vehicle. You would eventually see a page that looks like this, which asks you to enter your vehicle information, and then there's a screen to describe what was stolen from your vehicle. Now, you'll notice a drop-down menu here that helps you find both common and some uncommon items stolen from vehicles, like this one, an accordion. But in this case, let's say someone stole my shoes from my car. Once you've selected that, be sure to fill out as much information about the stolen item as possible, like brand names, serial numbers, and estimated values. If there was more than one item stolen from your vehicle, there is a spot on the next page to add more items. And that pretty much wraps up our tutorial on how to use the New Braunfels Police Department's online police reporting system. If you have questions about filing a report, just give us a call during normal business hours, 830-221-4100.